Hello, my name is Simon and I present Conversation Engine. What is Conversation Engine? Conversation is a tool that will help you create a data pack containing villager NPCs for Minecraft 1.16 or above. It will create NPCs like this. Uh, it focuses on branching dialogue, so here it says, Hello, I am Bob, what is your name? And it gives me two blue lines to choose from. So I can say, my name is Simon. Oh, hello, Simon. Uh, I heard you were looking for a dungeon. And then I have two choices. I can, yes, where is the ice dungeon or the thunder dungeon? Well, and then if I say, where is the thunder dungeon? The thunder dungeon is on the top of the mountain to the south. And if I were to talk to him again, if I say, like, hello, what is your name? I could say, I'm not telling you, and then he gives a different reply. Well, if this type of villager would interest you, I will now explain you how to make them. Let's start off by creating the dialogue. To do that, you uh, first of all go to my website, a link in the description, and you click the big Go to Yarn Editor button. This will send you to this page, and in here we will make our dialog. To edit a note you double click it and we're going to start off by changing the name of the villager which is the name of the note which we will call Bob. And then we can start by writing some text like uh, hello I am Bob what is your name and then we can uh, give a choice by clicking the choice button or by manually typing the brackets and the vertical bar. On the left side of the bar, we type what's actually displayed in chat. Uh, for example, uh, name is, and then if you want to use the name of the player, we can use the useful at s. And then we need to, on the right side of the bar, say where that goes to. Uh, so let's say that goes to Bob1, and that will be made for us. And let's give another option. Uh, I'm not telling you. And let's make that go to Bob 2. Now, if we exit out of this, we see that two new nodes are created in which we can get uh, the next text. So let's say if you're saying, yeah, I'm not telling you, then Bob would reply, keep your threats. And let's say you do give your name, then we can give more options. And in here we can just repeat the same process. Uh, I'm going to cheat a bit by copying over some stuff. And in here we made two new things like, oh, hello, name of the player. Uh, I heard you were looking for a dungeon. Yes, the ice dungeon or the thunder dungeon. And then if you click out of here, we get new text for which I'm also going to Copy that over. And this is how you make a dialogue. Uh, if you wanted to make a second villager, because you probably want more than one, you can just click the plus button and it will create a new empty node. Uh, the way a villager is detected by looking at every node, and if there is no arrows pointing into the node, it's a villager. So Bob 2 is not a villager, because there is an arrow pointing to it, but Bob is. In this same way we can use, uh, let's make him Jeff and just give him some simple text. I am Jeff. Okay, now we can save this as a JSON, which is important. And this JSON file we will convert into the MPC. And now to convert the JSON file we just downloaded into the actual data pack, we can uh, go back to the website and click the download version and then whatever the version is to get the most recent version. And we'll look at that file which will create us a, a jar file. So this uh, is a Java program, so you will need to have Java installed to run. We'll create a new folder and we'll call it engine 
and this can be any empty folder and we're going to move the jar in and the json file we just created using the yarn editor then what we will do is we'll, we we will double click the conversation engine which will create a run.bat and a config.properties uh, the easiest way to actually convert this json into a data pack is to rename it input click run and the program will run and in the text it will see that it detected both our npcs jeff and bob and then it says done so uh, that's probably good and we can see that we have created a conversation engine zip file which will be our uh, data pack if you wanted to change the name of the files uh, or any other other settings you can edit the config the properties as if it were any text file and you can uh, change the name of the output file you can uh, change the input file you can even determine if you wanted to have it as a zip or as a folder etc now to load our data pack into minecraft what we will do is we will copy our data pack the zip file and then what we'll do we'll go to minecraft uh, select the world we want to work in in this case we want to use uh, island thingy because we want to make a villager right here you select the world you click edit then you cl can click the open world folder which should open up a folder which has a convenient folder named data packs we can paste it in there uh, we can click cancel here and this should have been it we load it back in and you type slash reload if it works it should say conversation engine initialized now the last thing is uh, to actually get our villagers for that we will use a function command and we'll use uh, conversation enter villager summon and then the name of a villager bob and we have jeff we can see if we were to talk to bob it would talk to us in chat and it would say yeah my name is simon and then oh yes where's the ice dungeon and voila or npcs now this villager that we created was really simple however this uh, there's a lot of stuff here there are a lot of custom commands you can do you can change the profession of the villager so you can make it far a farmer so it actually has the farmer's hat you can uh, m make it give you items you can make it buy items run commands even do if statements and else statements and get and add tags etc uh, by just using uh, this notation i will not go into this in this video uh, for this i'll make a separate video later and once that's uploaded the link will be in the description and uh, that's all